What's going on guys? It's your boy Just Flawless here. Cod Ghost, Cod Ghost. What a sneaky one you are. That's all I gotta say. Let me give you the breakdown about Call of Duty Ghost, ladies and gentlemen. Call of Duty Ghost is pretty much Call of, Call of Duty 4 said, hey Black Ops, you know, not Black Ops 2, don't get it twisted, but Call of Duty 4 said, hey Black Ops Original, let's get busy, you know what I'm saying, and let's have a amazing looking child. That is what Call of Duty Ghost is. Looks like you just took Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops and just smashed them together. And this is an amazing combination. I couldn't have been farther off of my predictions. I know when to admit when, you know, I am wrong. And man, was I far off. But I have a huge reason for that. When Call of Duty released its game, well, Call of Duty Ghost pretty much leaked out, you know, its information for the first time, you know, the first time ever re reveal gameplay. You know what they showed us? They showed us Strike Zone. Now, Strike Zone is a small map, so... But that has nothing to do with what I'm going to say. When you show three of your maps right off the bat, and you're going to show a strike zone, and then you're going to show us two huge maps like White Whiteout and, um, what was that other map? Whiteout, um, Octane, and some other map. I automatically assumed that Call of Duty Ghost was going to have pretty much a boatload of huge maps. They were going to take the battlefield route. And like I said, man, I couldn't be farther from the truth on that I was wrong my apologies but I have seen the light and I have seen more than I should have that is right I saw a ton of people streaming Call of Duty Ghost within the last three days what I mean by that is they're showing maps that they should not be showing they were getting banned you know channel banned but uh your boy can't get in trouble because I was the unknowing consumer wink wink and I was just sitting at my computer, I was drooling, you know, my I was, my mouth was just, oh my god, it was getting watery, that's all I gotta say. I see seen absolutely every map in uh, Call of Duty Ghost except for Free Fall, and that doesn't count, I've seen the trailer for Free Fall, but I've seen every map in this game, and honestly, it looks amazing, I, I just don't even have any better words. And I promise you, Activision's not paying me anything to say this stuff. Um, nobody's paying me to say the things that are coming out of my mouth. I'm just blown away because it's not what I expected. I expected dull, dingy, gray maps. Look at that quad! You know, take a rewind. Take it back. Watch that again. That was amazing. But anyways, I, I don't even know. It is obvious Robert Trolling is not making this game. It is obvious David Vondahor Vonda is not making this game. I think Mark Rubin is the lead designer, you know, lead director. If it is Mark Rubin, I, I just want to tip my hat off to you, sir, because you have done an amazing job. And people are going to look at me and say, how do you even, you know, glorify these guys? And you haven't even touched the game. I have seen the maps, and they are very well suited to my play style, and that's what shocks me the most. They are mostly small maps. That's that's why I'm happy. They're medium to small there's only like, I don't know, four large maps. But here's the catch, right? I, I don't even mind these four large maps. And I coming out of my mouth, I would never expect to say that at all. I would never expect myself to say I don't mind large maps. They're not ugly. I couldn't even believe my eyes. None of them are worse than Turbine except for one. Chasm is the only turd in this whole entire map pack. I'm not even going to lie, out of all the maps, Chasm is only going to be the only map, I think, that people are going to be desperate to vote. They're not going to want to play Chasm, because it is doo-doo, I'm not going to lie. It is Aftermath's younger brother, it's Downturn's uglier little sister, I don't even know what to say. But I, the other big maps are Prison Break, which is like a jungle remake from Black Ops original. Oh my god, that map is freaking awesome. It looks awesome. It's like you're battling in the wilderness, you know. It's stealthy, but it's it's action-packed. I can't even believe it. Prison Break looks awesome. That's going to be probably one of my favorite maps, even though it is a large map. Um, flooded. Flooded is going to be another map. I don't know how to take it yet, but it's like the ground is flooded with water, and the map is kind of like a parking lot, but it's a very large map. Uh, it's probably going to be the second ugliest map in the game, but even then, like I said, it's really not that awful at all. It really isn't. It looks better than Turbine. Um, I mean, everything pretty much looks better than Turbine, but 
Yeah, so Flooded's a big map. Um, what are the other ones I had to address really quick that are relatively large? We already seen Whiteout. It doesn't look too shabby. Um, I think that's all I really have to touch up on for the big maps. Oh, Stonehaven. Stonehaven's even really good. It's wide open. I think that's going to be a fan favorite. It looks like a really great map. I'm excited for it. I watched full gameplay on it. It looks like it is going to be sniper-based. So it could get frustrating if you're against really good snipers. But other than that, the map design is awesome. There's a lot of greenery. I can't believe it. It honestly looks like a couple guys from Treyarch made this game as far as the maps go. But here's the big part. they got. It seems like they got rid of all the bad map designers from Treyarch and only kept the good ones. Because they're listening to, listening to their fans for probably a first time in their life. There is, like, no exploding vehicles in this game. I am so, so surprised. There's going to be way less BS, you know, walking around trying to cap a B flag, trying to cap a C flag, and just getting blown up for no apparent reason because they got rid of the explosives as far as, like, vehicles that just explode for no random reason. And that is a huge step in the right direction. That's all I have to say. They took freaking tack inserts out. Oh, my God, I'm doing the Harlem Shake. I'm doing the Crip Walk. I'm doing the Michael Jackson Moonwalk right now. It don't even matter. There's no tack insertions. There's going to be pretty much no boosters in this game. The people that are boosting are going to be more sad and pathetic than ever because they're going to have to run around freaking miles of distance of travel, at least on the bigger maps. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, meet up with each other, be like, oh, let me kill you. And I think they're going to get so bored of walking to get to the other side of the map just to find their uh, friends. That it's going to uh, lessen the chances that they're going to want to boost by a huge amount. And um, the weapon balance looks phenomenal. That's all I have to say. But man, when I look at a game, like a Call of Duty game, the first things I critique and judge it on, honestly, are the mechanics and the maps. Now, I can't really judge too much on the mechanics. They look, The game looks solid. Looks very smooth. My little cousin told me the hit detection felt like COD 4. And then I really was drooling at the mouth. I was like, are you serious right now? Like, that good? Okay, so I'm super pumped. And um, I've seen, like I said, a couple live streams. So apparently the kill streaks do suck in this game. But I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Because that's gonna want, it's going to make most people play the game as far as just actually play the game and not rely on kill streaks. We're going to be running around most of the time, you know, mostly gun on gun, gun action kills. That's what Call of Duty should be all about. And, um, you know, the big kill streaks don't even look that good. The Hilo Pilot, or whatever it's called, is like the, um, more like the Chopper Gunner from Black Ops 1. That is going to be an amazing kill streak. I will probably run the Hilo Pilot when I'm running Assault. And, uh, Specialist, I'm probably going to be more of a Specialist player this time around because the kill streaks do look very nerfed. Um, oh, my favorite maps in the game. This is where I have to talk about that because there are a lot of small maps and I'm super pumped. My predictions, right off the bat, you could hold it to me. You know, if this game's awful, you could blame it on your boy Flawless. I'll take the uh, blame on this one. Because there's pretty much all positives with what I've seen about this game. I'm going to say Warhawk. Warhawk is is probably going to be the standoff equivalent of Black Ops 2. Uh, as close as you're really going to get it is a medium-sized map. It's a little bigger than standoff, but it looks very, very well organized. And um, another thing about... Um, Call of Duty Ghost, there's minimum head glitches. There's one or two maps where there are a lot, but other than that, there's really not that many head glitches. They're pretty much just smooth corners when you go around a building. Uh, I did forget to say this, this is a 60 kill gameplay with the PDW. It started off slow, but I ended up going absolutely ham towards the end, as you could see. And, um, yeah, so Warhawk is going to be probably one of my favorite maps. So Warhawk, Prison Break, even though that's a larger map. Overlord. Okay, I thought Overlord was going to be Turbine, but it is not. Overlord is like a dome remake. It is bigger than dome. There's four, um, what's it called? Four buildings in the middle of the map, and uh, there's a bunch of buildings on the side. There are little oil rig trucks. I don't believe they blow up or can blow up, but that map looks super, super um, well balanced. It's bigger than dome, so it's not going to be as, um, you're not going to die as much as what I meant to say on that one. So I'm going to say Overlord's going to be an awesome map as well. Probably going to be one of my favorites. Sovereign, Sovereign, it looks awesome. There's a lot of blues, a lot of yellows. It looks like a Treyarch map. That's all I want to say without the BS. Um, it just looks so good. That's all I want to say. I think Sovereign's going to be my favorite map in the whole entire game. 
Uh, we still have to wait to see how Free Fall ends up. It looks like a small map, so it's probably going to be awesome. Man, Call of Duty's moving in the right direction. Huge kudos, huge props to the guys over in Finley Ward for making a good game. If anything's overpowered, it's going to be the IED, which is the um, Bouncing Betty. But I hope you guys like what you see. Hit the like button, and I'm ending this on a deuces.